This little guy right here is the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro. And I've been using this guy for several months and I'm pretty happy with it. It's a, it's a zip pouch, like a, you know, th this kind of thing you've seen for years. You put your cards in there and you zip it up and you can put your coins in there and it stays good. But the thing that caught my eye about this, this has some pockets on the outside that help you keep your pockets a little more organized, especially if you're holding it in the front pocket. Let's take a closer look. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kendra Dish, and I like to look at the tools that I use throughout my life that help me get the job done better. This thing, the Alpaca Zip Pouch Pro, is helping me get that job done better. What's the job? The job is to carry my credit cards and some cash and some business cards safely and securely in a front pocket. Now, one of the other things that I carry in my front pocket is, of course, keys and a knife. So th when I was browsing the website, this thing caught my eye and I had to buy it. And I bought some other stuff while I was there. I bought the Alpaca Pencil Case Pro. Pretty cool little tech pouch. I bought Alpaca Utility Pouch, which is pretty cool. And I bought the Alpaca tech case mini which I already have a review done of that you can check it out there great little pouch and some great products from alpaca gonna do a review on these guys coming up soon in a fantastic in a big old tech pouch tech case review video that'll be coming up soon so make sure you subscribe all right let's talk specs a little bit before we get into this the Material that it is mostly made out of is uh, an X-Pack fabric called VX21. Um, I don't know enough about this technical fabrics to make a difference between different kinds of X-Pack, but the X-Pack material comes from the same type of material they make sales out of, and it's kind of a ripstop style material, so it's it's pretty tough and it's water uh, resistant, water you know, weatherproof, let's call it. Not necessarily waterproof, like you can't dunk this thing in. But um, but if, if you left it sitting on the table and it got some rain on it, I think your products inside would be okay. Uh, I, I can't make that claim. I'm not making that claim, but they say it's weatherproof fabrics and it's got the AquaGuard zippers. These are YKK zippers um, and they work just fine. The zipper pulls seem to be some sort of Hypalon material. I've seen some other people clip these off and, and put their own kind of zipper pulls on there. And I think that's, if you wanted to pop a color, that would be interesting. Or you just like, you know, paracord better. I think that makes sense to do if you're into that. But these are fine. Um, they do seem to be uh, giving me a little bit of wear. The most out of anything on here, uh, they give me a little bit of wear. Um, so I just kind of clip that off with some scissors and it's fine. Now, I've been using this thing for several months um, in my front pocket and putting, you know, you can kind of see I'm stretching the, the, the pocket out a little bit. And I see absolutely zero signs of wear anywhere else on this thing. Like I said, the Hypalon loops a little bit, but zero wear on the stitching, zero wear anywhere else. And I feel like this thing is proving to be very durable. One of the nice things about it is that it is made from RFID blocking material. Um, if you don't know what that means, that means that if you're out and about and somebody can walk up to you and kind of stand next to you in line or something, they could steal the information off the cards that are in here. But RFID blocking material means that they can't. So no longer can somebody just steal the information on your cards. And I think that is important. I don't know why you wouldn't want that. And it's cool that it's in here. As far as the size goes, what they say is it measures 130 millimeters by 85 millimeters. Now I don't measure things in millimeters. So for me, it's inches. And that translates to 5.1 inches wide and 3.3 inches tall. The interior of this thing has high vis orange, which is great so that you can see in here a little better. And they say that it has enough volume in here for somewhere between four and 12 cards. Now I've got a bunch of cards in here, 
But before I take them all out, I want to show you that there is a, there's a divider. So you can have two sections, but there's plenty of room for more. So I'm carrying around seven plus um, I usually have some business cards in here. Today, I, I don't have any. Now, the, the thing to know about how this works is some people say this is a little, this opening is a little narrow. Um, I think it's designed that way a little bit, but one of the things is if you have some, if you have stuff in these outer pockets, it reduces the ability to like, to like squeeze open. It's more stiff on, the, on these outside, outside edges. And so you end up having to put the cards, I, it's no big deal, but I put the card in, you put the card in like this. You slide it in and then you turn it. No big deal. So that's the, that's the main pocket. And you can see here, there's a secondary pocket. This is where I store my cash and a coin, a quarter. Six or seven different bills all folded up and they fit in here, no problem at all. I don't normally carry a lot of cash, but I like to have some. I also have seen other people put, they, they put an air tag in that pocket, which is a good idea. Front pocket right here. You can, you can kind of see the size of it. Um, this is where I carry my, my car key. So this is the, I mean, the car key fob. I hate these things. I hate how big key fobs are. They're so stupidly big. Why does it gotta be so big? Especially if you got more than one, it's freaking ridiculous. So if I, honestly, if I have my key fob and I have my wife's key fob, and then I have the key to my production van, all of a sudden my pocket is freaking ginormous. And I'm like, why do I need to have this much plastic in my pocket just to, like what's wrong with old car keys? This is an old man rant, I guess, but like, this is ridiculous. But while I got these things here, let me, let me just go ahead and show you that all of these, how they fit in. This is the this is the biggest and it slides in there and it works fine. And this my vehicle is one where you walk up and you just get in and I don't ever need to take it out of here. So that's perfect. If I'm taking my wife's car, um, I can slide that in and it works great. One of the things that ultimately is pretty nice is that in my wife's car, the buttons push pretty easy. So I turn it this way and the uh, the buttons don't push as easy. When I take my video production van out, uh, this is the key that I use for that. And it fits in here as well, just like that. So I just wanted to show you that e each of these different kinds of keys fit in to that m first pocket real easily. Perfect. Okay, so that's that pocket. It's big enough for that. And if you want to see a, a size comparison, I, you know, you put a Sharpie in there. That's how big this thing is. And on the back, you've got two pockets, one a little skinnier, but taller and one a little wider. And they, they're at the slat, they're at the uh, slanted angle. This is the knife that I mainly carry around with me day to day. This is the Leatherman Skeletal KBX. This is the green one. This is a special collaboration with a company called Huckberry. And the good news for you is that I'm gonna give one of these knives away to you from this video. Go to the link in the description to be able to enter the giveaway for your Skeletal KBX limited edition green knife with a black blade. Now, Skeletal, the reason I care, like, I, lo I love this knife, but even more so, I love the, the, the big brother, the Leatherman Skeletal CX. This is my, this is my uh, favorite Leatherman. And I'll tell you why. It has to do with what tools are in here for, for what my job is. My job is, is, is I'm a cinematographer and a photographer and a video producer, and I'm out on set and I need different tools. So I, I need a knife. So there we go, we got a great knife. Let's compare these two blades. They're not the same blade, but they're pretty close. This one has a few more teeth on it. Uh, this, you can see I'm, I'm, hard, on, I'm hard on my stuff. Um, this knife edge is, it needs some, 
needs some attention, but it's very sharp. Um, I cut my thumb on this the other day and it, just because I accidentally pushed on it. And, but you can see that it's, a, it's almost the same knife blade and you can see the curves match. They're, they're, they're really, they really are, they really are brothers. Um, you got the multi-tool and you got the knife. The, the Leatherman Skeletal KBX is the little brother to the Leatherman Skeletal CX multi-tool. And I carry this and I carry this and they're both fantastic. So this guy fits perfectly in that pocket right there. And that's where I usually have it along with my car key in this pocket right there. If I wanted to carry the, the Leatherman around, it fits perfectly in that pocket as well. So then I wouldn't need this guy. I could just take this kit and this kit is pretty good too. Okay, one last little feature on this, on this uh, Zip Pouch Pro is they've got a little loop, a fabric loop here at the top. They sell a little hub, something called a hub, a little hub connector. And I don't have that and I haven't tried it, so I don't know, but I put a little key ring on there hooked to a carabiner. And then that means I can hang this inside of a bag or um, attach it to something. And I don't always need the carabiner because if a, if a bag has a, a keychain clip, you can just clip it in there and keep it secure so this doesn't fall out. I don't normally carry my wallet inside of a bag. I usually carry it in my pocket. But the one time when I don't have it in my pocket, is usually it's through the airport. I'm going to the airport, the metal detectors and all that, I'll take this out and I'll put it in the, the bag. Uh, and I would, I prefer it to be secured in with a key clip so that this doesn't slip out and go anywhere and go missing easily. I'm not, a, I'm not a knife expert, so I can't really speak too much about knives, but I do carry a knife almost every day and I use knives a lot. So I know what I like and I like a real thin knife. I like a real simple, thin, high quality knife. And I know because of decades, or not decades, but years of abuse of this skeletal Leatherman, I knew that this thing was gonna be fantastic as well. And I'm pretty excited to have a, a limited edition knife. Check out hugberry.com. Check the link in the description to enter the contest. Check out the Alpaca website because Alpaca is really making some high quality stuff. And one of the best things about Alpaca is they are committed to sustainability, which is important to me. It's important to my production company, Vertical River. And I just wanted to read you what uh, Alpaca says about sustainability, about their sustainability promise. So I'm just reading it here. We use environmentally responsible materials such as recycled polyester and nylon to create many of our products. And we continually strive to reduce our impact on the planet through our production process and supply chain. We're also 1% for the planet members and donate 1% of annual sales to nonprofits that are making the world better by planting trees, reducing plastic in our oceans, and more. So I find it pretty easy to support a company like that that's doing a lot of sustainable homework and innovations and uh, making things out of recycled materials and all that. So that's why I'm a fan of alpaca. Besides the high quality and the durabilities that I've seen so far, these things are rugged and durable. So go check them out, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.